Hi everyone, this is Jupiter Jim from jupitergym.com. I'm at my live active blog, Jupiter Jim's Marketing Team. And if you'd like to get this video and all the different videos I create in your email, just go to the right here and just sign up with your name and email address. And you'll get all my blog posts and videos into your email. Okay, let's go over here to the demonstration blog that we'll be using for this particular video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to add Google Analytics to your WordPress blog or website that uses the thesis theme version 1.8.4. Okay, this is the demonstration blog. I'll click on this tab. This brings me to the dashboard of that demonstration blog, which is Jim's Max GXL marketing team. And I'm going to click over here, and this brings us to Google. First thing we want to do is type in, just type in analytics, and Google Analytics will automatically come up on top. Once you're there, you can just click right here. And now what we're going to have to do is sign in or create an account. I have not created an account. This is what the page looks like. No big deal. I have not created an account, so we'll do that right now. Let's click here. I'm going to sign in with my new Gmail account that I'm using just for demonstration purposes. Now, notice I don't put the at Gmail at the end of it because you don't have to if you're using a Gmail account. If you're using an email account other than Gmail, then you'd have to put the at sign in the rest of the uh, email address there. Okay, let me put in the password. Okay, and we are here. I don't, um, it says Google Accounts. Like I said, you have to have some kind of Google account or a Gmail account in order to be able to access the Google Analytics or and to open up the Google Analytics account, which we're doing right now. Um, it's the country that I'm in, obviously, is U.S. I'm not going to put in my mobile phone. I'm not going to put in, at this time, a recovery email address, although that's strongly suggested because this is just a demonstration for me. Okay, save and continue. Okay, start analyzing your site's traffic in three steps. So first thing we need to do is set up the analytics. Then we're going to add the tracking code, and we can learn about the audience. Okay, so let's go here where it says sign up. Account name. Let me just put down... Okay, that's the name of the account. The website URL, we're going to put that right here. I'm going to go back to the actual site here. Press Control C to copy. Go back here, and I'm just going to paste that in. First of all, HTTP. Then I'm going to press Control V to paste, Command V on a Mac to paste. And then I'm just going to get rid of the HTTP because there's no we don't want to duplicate that. So I'm going to just hit a backspace there. You can leave that slash in or get rid of it. I'm going to get rid of it. Time zone, United States, Pacific time. I'm actually on the East Coast. I'm in Florida, which is the same as New York. So I'm going to put East Coast time. Um, share my Google Analytics data. I'm going to say no at this time. There's a user agreement here. We're going to scroll down. We do agree and we're going to now create the account. Okay, we have the account. Okay, you can, we're just going to scroll up and down. This is the whole page, as you can see. I guess that's a little fast. Okay, we're tracking one single domain. We're going to copy this code to your site. It says copy the following code, then paste it onto every page that you want to track immediately before the closing head tag right there. Okay, so I'm going to click in here. I just click once, it automatically highlights everything. Press Control C to copy, Command C if you're on a Mac. I can then click outside just to deselect it. Once again, here's the demonstration blog. We're going to go to the dashboard of that demonstration blog. 
I'm going to scroll down to where it says thesis. I'm going to click on site options. Right up here, thesis site options. Scroll down just a wee bit. Now, you would think that you're going to put it in where it says stats software scripts. It says right here to put, if you have Google Analytics, to put it in here. I have not had success doing that. I'm not going to do that, so I'm going to just close this up. Right up here where it says additional scripts, notice right here it says if you need to add scripts to your document head tag or head section, which is where Google just told us to place it. Um, so we're going to place it here, even though this says to place it in the other space, we're going to place it right here where it says additional scripts. So that's where we're going to place this tracking code. Now I already have, I'm, you just click this little corner on the right and you can drag it down. Now I already have some code in here, but that's for a Facebook like box. So I put the cursor right at the end of the last script tag, and then I'm just going to hit enter a couple of times, that's all. Now I'm going to press control V or command V on a Mac to paste the code into the yellow box. Then I'm going to, there's the Google Analytics. There's everything we just copied. Okay, that's Google Analytics starts right here. I'm going to click outside to deselect. I'm going to scroll to the top. I'm going to click the big green save button. Okay, that's done. I'm going to go back to Google Analytics. I'm going to click this Save button here. And it says Success, if you look right there. So apparently, Google has tracked the code on this website, WordPress website, already. We have completed that most important step. And when you log back in in the future, you're going to go on the upper left hand corner. Here you can see we're at the Google Analytics. You're just going to click on the exact site you want to track. This brings you down here. This is in the admin section. It's going to give you profiles. It's going to give you some other things to choose from. We can click on the home. That'll give you your stats. We don't have any yet because it takes usually at least 24 hours before it starts giving you any results from the tracking data. You can go with standard reporting. Once again, it tells you how many visitors and unique visitors and page views and page per visit, etc., etc., how much time they spent on the site. You can do custom reporting. And that's basically all there is to adding Google Analytics to your WordPress blog. If you found this helpful, please click the like button, leave comments on my WordPress blog, share with friends, family, neighbors, and loved ones on Facebook and Twitter. Take care and have a great day.